Okay, so letting 11 rule breaker cards choose our foot champions team. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u7buy.com and get yourself some foot coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title, week number two of the Letting 11 series returns. Thanks to all you guys that checked out, obviously, the first episode we've done in ages. Basically, if you missed it, we actually let 11 Panini packs choose our Foot Champions team. And I've got something fairly similar to that that I think you guys will definitely enjoy, which actually involves retro cards. So... Don't miss that. And also, there were some incredible ideas in last week's video comments. And one of them I definitely really want to do. And you may have seen it in the comments. But if you guys have any other future ideas for the Letting 11 series, make sure you let me know in the comments below. If you see any ones you like, make sure you smash the like button on it. The most liked one I will most likely do in the future. So let me know your ideas below. And hopefully, we can get one of your ideas done in a future video. But yeah, today's a little bit different to the usual videos where we let 11 like specific packs or something. But today, we're just letting 11 of the Rule Breaker cards. I thought, you know what? It's a promo. It should be fun. It should be fun to try out some of these cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to use 11 of these Rule Breakers within a team. However, there's no goalkeeper. That's my only issue. I don't really know what to do about that part. Uh, maybe we just chuck a random goalkeeper in or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're going to get 11 of the rule breaker cards in a team and then try it out in a game of foot champions. I've already got like five of them untradeable from SBCs and objectives. It should be a load of fun. But what I want you guys to do is let me know whether you think this is a good idea or whether we should like randomly generate it next time. Make sure you let me know in the comments about that as well. I think that's enough of me talking. Let's now go ahead and create this 11 rule breaker team. Okay, so let's create ourselves a new squad. We'll just call it rule breakers, you know, something nice, something simple. There we go. And now what I'll do is I'll put in the plays that I already have in my club. So let me do that now. So I've gone ahead and put the plays in. Let me show you the ones that we have currently got. So we have got Bella Rabi, the dribbling upgrade version. We've got Mukiel Objective. We've got Taliska SBC. We've got Podence Untradeable. And then also Akin Fenwa Objective. Some of them cards are looking interesting. I have not used that Akin Fenwa card yet. So that is definitely going to be fun to try out. But what we need to do is put these in the team to start off with. Then get in some more rule breakers and see what kind of team we can come up with. Chemistry is not going to be a strong point. I know that. And also, like I said, the goalkeeper may be an issue. Maybe we put an extra rule breaker on the bench and then use a keeper. But let's build this team. So pretty obvious where we're putting these players, basically in their own positions. Uh, Podence, left wing, uh, Akfema up front. We've got Taliska. Uh, we've also got Mukiel um, at right back. He's a very nice card. I've tried him out. And then Bella Rabi right mid. I don't know what formation as well yet. Like this might not be the formation we go with. Sadly, also I only have about like 600k. So we can't get like all of the top, top dogs. That's the only annoying thing. Like I would like to try out like a Harry Kane, a Texera, a Pogba, but sadly don't currently have the coins. Let's switch this up because I think we can only really have the one striker. Do we go, let's go for a 4 3 3 bracket four. Akin Fenwar, obviously back up front. Left wing, we go Podence. Right wing, we'll go Bellarabi, Camp, Taliska. So now we need another two rule breaker midfielders. All right, so what are our options and what can I afford? Royce and Pop are probably out the equation. I'm not going to lie. Uh, obviously, we've already got a left winger. Nine Golem's definitely fairly expensive. Lorente, he's fairly expensive, but I feel like we can just about scrape him and get him in this team. And then also, this man here, Andre. Another nice looking card. Uh, they can be our other two centre midfielders. They should do a job. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right. Now, on to the defence. We've got two centre backs to fill, a left back. And like I said, goalkeeper, we'll have to sort that out in a minute. But let's go with centre backs first. What rule breaking centre backs are there? We've got Laporte, Jimenez, and Apara. I assume Laporte is very expensive. Not fully sure. Let me double check. Yep. He's 485,000 coins. That sadly is not going to happen. However, we'll have to go with these other two centre-backs in Opara and Jimenez. We'll go for them too, as they are basically our only options anyways. And then left-back. I think there's only one left-back in Kamara. Oh, no, there's Van Anholt and Kamara. I think Kamara probably is my affordable option. So we'll stick him at left-back. All right, so these are our starting lineup. Like I said, there's actually no goalkeeper, so I don't know what we're going to do there. Maybe we just get some of that links to either Jimenez or Apara. Chemistry-wise, I don't think there's much we can actually do about it. Like, genuinely, I think this might be the best we're going to get um, infuriated. I can't lie. Maybe just goalkeeper-wise, we go all black. I don't know whether it is cheating. I feel bad, but we'll go ahead and pick up an all black because the team is already damaged enough chemistry-wise. So, yeah, I guess we chuck all black in there. 
But the series is 11. Now, it's got to be 11 of them. So we do have to get one on the bench. So I'm probably going to have to go for the cheapest option. And I think that is Mr. Lazari. So he can be our bench player. All right, so let's go back over the team again. In goal, we've got our black. Right back is Mukiel. Right centre back is Opara. Left centre back is Jimenez. Left back then Kamara. Left centre mid, Loriente. Cam Taliska. Right centre mid, Andre. Right wing then Bellarabi. Striker, Akin Fenwa. And left wing, Podence. Wow, we are probably going to get absolutely destroyed. But we'll give it our best go. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and actually buy all the players for the team then we will get ourselves into a game, so I'll see you guys then. All right, so we are now back, and we have gone ahead and bought the team. So as you can see, here it is, just all black, not being a Rule Breakers card, but the rest of it looks sick. Let's just put Lazari in goal to see the full Rule Breakers team on the screen. Look at that, looking beautiful. Bar the chemistry, actually. The chemistry isn't the greatest. So yes, that is the team. As you can see, what I'm going to do is I'll just fill the rest of the bench up with bronzes. Then we'll get ourselves now into a foot champions game. Currently 12 and 3, so this is probably going to be an extra loss for me, but it's for you guys. It's for the content, so we are going to do it. All right, it looks like we have found ourselves an opponent, and our opponent's team is... Oh, a decent looking one. He's got Laporte, Lucas Hernandez. I think that's Hugo Sanchez. I'm not too sure. The icon, he's got Naki Williams, Andy Fatty, Traore, Benzema, Vinaldum. Okay, he's got some nice players. We're just going to have to try our best and just see how it goes. All right, come on. Come on, rule breakers, please. I don't know what Akin Fenwa going to be like. Like I said, he's our striker, our main man up top. Uh oh, look at the middle. Look at the middle. Oh, it's 1-0. Anaki Williams. I don't know how he got so much space, but he did. Okay, right. 1-0 down. Let's see if we can pull this back. Let's go. Podents. Rainbow flick. Podents. I should have sweated it. I should have sweated it. I've absolutely bottled it there. Oh, no. All right. It's a good turn. He's turned me twice. No, not like that, EA. Come on. It's now 2-0 to this guy. He got a rebound goal. Brilliant. I've literally read that as well. I've literally read that game. Oh, he's got a penalty. I literally read that and he's got a pen. Oh my God. The pain of low chemistry. 3-0 down. 3-0 down. I think we're taking the loss here. I'm not going to lie. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's not offside. He's actually not offside. Oh, 4-0. Surely, Loriente, we've got one back, but we conceded before I even said that. All right, I'll take it. That is actually half time. Um, not really much to say. I honestly think chemistry means a lot on this game. I don't know whether it does, but it just feels like it does. I might put Taliska up top and put Akinfemar at cam and just try something else. But yeah, it wasn't the greatest half. I can't lie, but let's see what we can do in the second. Actually, we're bringing Lazari. As he hasn't had a shot, Akinfemar off. Lazari on, Taliska up top. Let's see how it goes. All right, well, here we go. Let's hope. Oh, but oh, all, my, all my aim is for the second half is not to concede four goals again. All right, three, and we're happy. Win that. You've got to be winning that. You are joking. How has he not won that? Who was that? Who was that? That is ridiculous. Okay, brilliant. Oh, my God. Why does chemistry affect your team this much? I don't know. This is genuinely ridiculous. I, this guy's not even that good of a player. Like, he's not bad. But if I had my normal team, I definitely would have beaten him. But, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is painful. This is actually painful at this rate. Oh, mate. I, I genuinely can't believe chemistry affects you this much this year. This is ridiculous. Lazari. Lazari! Oh, wow. A consolation goal at the max. <laughs> this is honestly the most painful game I've played. The team is awful. Like, genuinely, like, without chemistry, basically don't have off-chem teams because it's not fun. Oh, not again. I've, there's not much I can say apart from just laugh at this point. Honestly, right, look at look at it. Look at Lazari here. He's got no chance. Back across the opponents. Opponents. He's, he's he's missed it. He's missed it. Taliska. Oh my God! How has he missed that as well? All right. Wow. 
There we go. The embarrassment stops there. Well, that definitely wasn't the funnest of games for me to play, but at least it teaches you guys something not to use a team off chemistry, especially with them kind of players, because it really didn't work out well. But if we take a look at the match facts, as you can see, this guy had 15 shots to my six, 12 on target to my four. He had 49% possession to my 51. Yeah, I definitely didn't enjoy that one. I can't lie. But yeah, anyways, boys, that is going to wrap up this week's Letting 11 Challenge. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Sorry it was out a bit later than uh, last week's. I do apologize. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed it nevertheless. Make sure you guys, like I said earlier, let me know in the comments any future challenges you would like to see. The Letting 11 Challenges you would like to see as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye